Once you're getting your click, anything special that you guys are doing inside the listing that people might not know about? Yeah. So, you know, we talked about the impressions turning into clicks. That's main image price and reviews, I would say, are the biggest levers that we're going to pull. So get more reviews, play with the price. So the badges, if we can get the bestseller badge, obviously it's very hard, but if you can, one of the products is a pasta, a skinny pasta is basically like a, you know, very low carb pasta. And they're a little bit uh, away from the bestseller. So as soon as Christmas hits, we're going to blast them with a little bit of extra spend just to get the bestseller badge going into like January 1st, which is their season. So things like that. Um, but then once they're in the listing, you know, I'm looking at the listing images. If I only looked at those images, can I be sold on that product in terms of like, can I just scroll through the images and, and you know, it sell the product? Does it talk about the features, benefits, and why it matters to the customer? Does it talk about all the pros that all of the other uh, brands have or all, all the other competitors have? Does it talk about eliminating the doubt of all of the cons that all the competitors, other competitors have? Does it talk about how it's differentiated, you know, any edge that it has, uh, social proof, if it's been in Forbes or whatever it is. So I'm looking for the images to really sell me. I'm looking for a video that is, again, like fast, catchy. There's a lot of text, uh, you know, and it's like benefit, benefit, uh, you know, uh, lifestyle. So I'm looking for that. Title and bullet points, I'm optimizing the SEO through data dive so i'm looking at competitors at seo ranking juice i'm trying to optimize mine to have a better ranking juice um and then with the bullet points obviously i like to see that big text all caps like first sentence for people who like to gl uh, glance um under it if we can have virtual bundles i like to use virtual bundles because they push competitors below the fold um under that mm. uh, um, we have the brand story and so that's a easy way to showcase mission, vision, values, uh, you know, the founders, why we started this company, uh, you know, are like any of like the things that set us apart. Is it veteran owned, minority owned, family owned, et cetera, et cetera. Any, any sort of like mission and something that will connect with the, the shoppers. Then we're looking for premium A plus content. So telling, you know, it's a full landing page, telling the story and we like to build it. I think one thing that a lot of people can take away from this is go and look at the really, 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 uh, big DSC brands uh, that are killing it uh, and go to Facebook ads library, uh, go check out their ads and then click on an ad. It'll take you to a landing page and then just look at how the landing page is built. You'll notice that it starts with some sort of like big, like benefit or something, you know, and then, then it goes on to like social proof. Then it goes on to, you know, something else. Then it goes on to value. Then it, so there is like a format that they use in and these people are like split testing landing pages and obviously this is probably an optimized landing page especially if you notice that the ad has gotten a lot of clicks it means that they've been running it for a while um a lot of likes a lot of comments a lot of clicks so an ad like that go look at the landing page and try and build that premium a plus content to have that similar flow of like how can i get someone in that journey of like okay this is the benefit this is what separates it this is social proof this is this, 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 and kind of by the time they get to the end of the premium A plus content, they're convinced that this is the best product for them. And then below that, I would say, fill out the questions on the listing, make sure that all of your frequently asked questions are answered, use Amazon posts, uh, get UGC on there from you know Amazon influencers. And at the bottom where you have reviews, try and get a few people to take pictures and images uh, and videos and post them up as, with the reviews because I've seen that really helps. So. We're, we kind of build like this checklist and we're like, okay, let's go through one by one, optimize everything. And this happens uh, once every three months. So every three months, we'll, the reason that we do this every three months is because I'm noticing that competitors are now more competitive.